Yeah, before we get out of here, let's t- and I'll ask you this because I've been answering on the board a lot, and everybody knows where I stand on this. I'm kind of a Miles Brennan stand almost, but um, there's Caleb Williams talk this week. It doesn't seem to me from talking to anybody that LSU's even recruiting Caleb Williams. I imagine he's going out west, and whether that's Lincoln Riley or shock the world and pick UCLA, I have no idea. But I don't expect it to be LSU. But we see kids enter the portal all the time, and people will, you know, LSU fans will run to social media or the board or ask on the radio. You know, Jackson Dart's in the portal from USC at quarterback. Oh, look, JT Daniels at Georgia's in the portal at quarterback and all these guys. So look, throw Caleb Williams out there. I don't think they're recruiting him. But as all these guys go in, does anybody ever turn your head? Or if you're this coaching staff, are you completely okay with Brennan, Nussmeyer in his year two, and then Howard? I'm okay with it this year. Um, it does concern me that I – and correct me if I'm wrong, but Walker Howard's not – Gonna, he's recovering from an injury, correct? Or he had an, yeah, he got injured and played through it. I would think he's going to be okay for spring ball, though. Okay, yeah. I, I'm good for this year. I would not probably be going after hard after Dart or anything like that. I think Brennan is a quality, quality uh, transfer portal quarterback. Like, if he was in just a transfer portal guy that we knew of from another school. He was being ranked before he returned to LSU. He was the top five quarterback in the portal, like from all accounts. And that includes a bunch of guys that are from uh, major schools as well. So I'm good with, with these three this year. I will say next year, while I think Nussmeyer is a, can be a starting caliber player, Walker Howard can be a starting quality player next year. And this is going way too far forward. I shouldn't even be talking about this. But next year, I'm still open to a transfer portal. I think there's very few years – where I'm not looking for a transfer portal quarterback, probably just because of how many I feel like can be out there at once. Like a Caleb Williams, there's going to be a top five quarterback in the country in the portal every single year. And if LSU reaches the point where they are comfortable at every single position, quarterback is the one that can win you a championship bar none. Like that's the one that can change the trajectory of your season significantly. And I think that they're going to recruit at a level to where the receiver's not a concern, running backs, fine line, Offensive line will always be, you know, um, a strong a strong point with Brian Kelly and and this offensive um, and Brad Davis. The quarterback position is the one that can change things, and that's where I just don't think moving forward after this year, because I I still think this year is is Brennan's year. I think he's really good. I'm I'm sold on that. It's all it's about everything else this year, but moving forward, when everything else starts to get a little bit more shored up, then it becomes about the quarterback position. Because we know how valuable that can be. If not, then you turn into Texas A and M. So, yeah, no, I'm with you. I, I think too. I'm I'm right with you. It's way too far to think, but you're right about what the conversation will be next year. And I think the conversation will certainly be that if Brennan stays healthy and goes wire to wire as the quarterback, because I think that kind of almost what LSU fans are feeling right now, and maybe the coaching staff doesn't feel that. But I know for college coaches, and this may be for anyone in any industry, unknowns are some of the scariest thing, and it's, I think the transfer portal kind of dangles that carrot for you at all time of, you know, we used to be, that, that was just how teams worked. You had a starter and some guy sat for a couple of seasons and then he made his first start so as a third year guy. Well, when you get into these guys and say, like, next year, if he hasn't started yet, you're like, well, he's really good in high school. He's been ready for two years. He just hadn't started, but we're going to turn the page and we're going to hand the reins to him. Or do we go get this guy that we've seen play for a year or two now and we know what we're getting and, I think there's just a little bit of that with Brennan right now. It's only three games where he started, but he's been around long enough. He's old, old enough. And in those three games, he threw the ball a ton. So you kind of know what his arm is and, and kind of know how yeah. he reads the defense and, and how he operates. And obviously now that's two years removed from that by the time he gets back out there. The worry for me is just staying healthy. If Miles stays healthy, I think they're going to be just fine. They've got tons of talent at receiver. They can run the football. We'll see how the offensive line looks. I should say they have good running backs. We'll see if they can actually run the football. But good offensive line. We'll see where this goes. But I'm I'm with you. For this year, I'm perfectly okay and comfortable with Brennan. And, and maybe even more so just knowing it's not like this roster is a quarterback away from, like, exactly. Joe Burrow level. You know what I mean? It's like they've got a lot more to worry about than Miles Brennan, in my opinion. So exactly. like Miles Brennan's like the 15th thing I'm worried about, or not really, but you get what I'm saying. So yeah, I, I think especially being at this year and this transition, and this coaching change, 
I almost think Brennan stabilizes things more for you than just going and grabbing some random transfer portal or starting a younger guy would have. 